So I've started incorporating the import and export weights uh, from the deform menu. I used to use it all the time, then I stopped for a while because I had issues with it, and then recently I've been coming back to it. Um, one of the things is that uh, it's great about using that is you can build a rig, um, put all your joints in, weight it, be happy with doing that you're waiting, and then uh, kick that weighting out and then redo your rig completely. And that's kind of what I've been doing is I have scripts to build all my rig components and from that I will then um, recreate my rig from scratch. The names of the joints are the same so it looks at that and recreates it and I can save all my weights and get, don't lose that weight work. Uh, but I was having issues with it and I was like, what is going on? Why am I not getting the weights that I spit out? And I recently discovered something that I think maybe was part of the reason that it was happening. And so far I've had good luck with it, so I thought I'd share that. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I have a little uh, poly cylinder here and I'm gonna weight it to these joints. But what I'm gonna do and what is uh, select the joints but not the second joint and do a skin on that and when I skin I always use selected joints because uh, I want to make sure that I use the exact joints every single time and that was sort of where I ran into problems with this and found some of the issues um, weight distribution all that sort of stuff I change around and what kind of bind method I use I change a lot uh, but I always use selected joints because I want to make sure I'm binding to the joints I want to bind um, I don't want errant joints to have weighting and then I'm just, you know I don't want it to have weight. I don't want it to wait. So I'll bind that. And then I'm just to make this thing smooth. I'm going to smooth it down a little bit. And I'll open up the component editor. I have it in my marking menus here. And if I select, like, say, these vertices, sorry, these vertices right here and go to smooth skins, my first joint has, um, you know, well, we'll just make it easier. So we'll call it 0.35 so we know that it's there. Uh, 0.35. Well, whatever doesn't really matter um, and the other ones have what they have so, but you'll notice that I don't have any weight on joint two uh, and that's what we want because that's how we bound it um, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and export the weights and this menu is pretty old I don't think it's been updated in a really long time the only update I've seen is that you can convert it to JSON instead of XML um, but it still kind of works the same way and it's a little bit clunky so what do you do is you choose where you want your weights to go. And I've found the same thing with XML or JSON has the same issues, so I haven't made a definitive answer on that yet. Um, I made a directory called data, and in that data I made a directory called weight map, so I'm going to put it in there, save that out. And the thing that's tricky about this is that it hasn't done anything yet. It actually hasn't saved anything. You're just telling it what the name should be. Now you have to hit apply or export and make sure you get that result that says you sent it out. Don't know why that is. I think it's really clunky. I think when you say save, it should have saved it. Um, I'm sure there's a reason. I haven't found one yet. All right, so now what I'm going to do is go here and unbind this. And this time, to show you what the error is, I'm going to select all my joints and my cylinder and skin it again. And I'm going to go in here to my deform menu and import weights. It's all the way at the bottom. It's a similar looking menu. I'm going to go ahead and select that XML file I created. This cylinder. JSON files one I created earlier, so I'll ignore that. And again, it just loads it in. Then you have to hit apply to actually apply it. Whoops, let me undo that because I gave away the secrets there. All right, so file name, yes. Skin cluster, yes. This is weird because you can't really change it after the fact anyway. Index basically just means um, how it's going to find those components that it's going to apply the weight to. So index is basically like if this CV or this vertice here is vertice 3 or 11 or 19, then put the weights for vertice 19 onto, vertice, onto that vertice. Um, that's what index means. Over and nearest, um, you know, I don't, nearest, I guess if you have different topology, you'll try and figure it out. Over, I don't know. Um, I never turn off ignore names because I want to use the exact same joint names as before to make sure I get the exact same weights that I exported. And then normalize weights, I normally have that on, and that's part of where I was running into issues. Um, so actually, uh, to demonstrate, I'll keep it on to show you what I was getting and, and being confused by, and then I'll turn it off to show you what's actually happening. Uh, I hit apply, and one of the things, I never hit import because it'll close the window. So I hit apply, 
and I'll reopen that um, oops, component editor and go to my smooth skins and grab that s those uh, same vertices that we grabbed before. If I hit F8, good. And what you'll notice is that I have weights on my spine like I should, and uh, one, and spine three and spine four, which I did have before. But I ha also have weights on spine two. Now you would think if in that XML file, as you know, if we look at it, what I'm gonna do here is I will open it. Oops, I gotta go to the actual directory. I control C and drop that in. And we'll open it with say notepad, it really doesn't matter. And I'm gonna just go down here and here's my joint, right? And here's the skin cluster, which also kind of doesn't matter. Uh, but the joint name does, of course, and then the shape name, and then basically saying for each uh, vertice, this is the weight that it should get for that joint, and that's all it does. So what I have is here I have, um, let's see, joint one, joint three, joint four, and joint five. It's kind of what we expected, it's very simple. Uh, but it doesn't have anything information about joint two, which is a good and bad thing. So basically what happens is it ignores that joint two even exists and just applies the weight. But because I have this normalized on here, what it does is say, okay, so for this uh, set of vertices, I'm gonna put the weights from joint one at whatever we had it before, is I think 0.35, and then it's gonna normalize it. So it's gonna make sure it equals to one. And then it's gonna do joint three, and it's gonna normalize it, make sure it equals to one. So it'll actually, as I set these weights, it'll offset all the others to make sure that we equal one. And this is where things are getting weird because it's making a calculation after applying the values that you want, which normally wouldn't be a problem because you do want it to be a total of one, but you still have these weights on here from the second joint that was never supposed to be there in the first place. And that's where things get into trouble because it doesn't know about that joint, so it doesn't know to make that zero. So. Let's, what can we do about that? Well, let me actually show you one more thing. <laughs> so let me turn off normalized weights and I'll show you this in greater detail. So normalized means that it's not gonna make it equal one. It's gonna let the weights go above and below one. I'll hit apply. And you'll notice that I get a little, what looks like a double transformation or too much weight on this joint here, which is kind of weird. So if I select those guys, uh, what you can see is our total is now 1.12, but our values on our other joints are actually what they were before. If I go back to that, uh, um, the XML file here, we'll go to joint one, and actually just let's see here. So vertex 16, cool. We can actually go down here to vertex 16, take a look at it, 0.35, and that's what it's getting. And then we can go down to spine three, and go to 16, 0.565. And that's what it gives us. And then we can go to the next one, joint four, and it's 0 0.085. And it is. But it's also leaving this original joint, whatever values it was from the default bind, which we don't want, which is what's causing the problems. So there's a couple ways we can get around this issue. So one of which is to make sure that this joint isn't in the bind selection, which isn't always that easy to do, and that's where we run into trouble. Um, so another thing you can do, I found if I grab all the components, go to the root joint, make it one, so it has all the weights. That means everybody else gets nothing, right? So if I go to that same grouping, all that weight is on spine one. Now we know that's not going to be the same in the end, but spine one is in our information of that XML file, so it'll fix that issue. So if I select this, even with normalized weights off, I'm gonna hit apply a bunch of times because I wanna make sure it goes through. And you see I get the correct weights from what I had before. So I thought, oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, maybe I'll add that into a script that automatically does that. The other thing we can do is we can make a uh, quick select set. And I used to do this for everything. And actually now I'm starting to do it again now that I'm using this tool. And basically what that does is just make sure that, you know, let me go ahead and freeze this, maybe get rid of some history on it. Um, maybe I move these joints around, whatever, uh, and then I want to rebind this thing. Um, what I'll do is I'll reselect those bind joints, select my geometry, do a bind skin, and then do the apply a bunch of times. Really only have to do it once. 
Uh, and if I look at the component editor, I have those correct weights on there. Um, but I'm glad that I kind of figured out the fire swamp of what was wrong with the, I guess it's really with the import weights and the export weights or whatever, uh, what was wrong with these things and why I was getting the wrong weights from what I exported versus what I imported. Because um, I've never used it. I was like, this thing's broken. I don't, I don't like it. Um, but now that I see that I can sort of overcome its issues, I'm probably going to use it a lot more than I used to. Uh, and then I also don't have to write my own script for exporting and importing weights, which is very nice. If I may anyway write one that'll just dump all the weights to zero or dump all the weights off and then reapply them, that might be a smarter way to go. I'm not sure. Anyway, I hope this has been helpful, and uh, thanks.